Well, guys, I thought that that was a, a game of two different halves. Um, when you look at the first half, I, I didn't think we did a great job at all defending. Uh, I thought we played on our heels a lot. Uh, they were the most ag more aggressive team, uh, both on the offensive end and defensive end. And so obviously we go we go into breakdown three, uh, giving up 50 percent. Give our guys credit. Uh, we talked about it at halftime. We made some adjustments. Uh, when you look at that last eight minutes of the the half, uh, we really sit down and defended, and obviously. Um, you know, held those guys in the second half to 25% uh, from the field. And I thought we did a good job. Uh, when you look at it, um, obviously, I, I was very happy with our post guys. Uh, right now, that's the strength of our team. Uh, those guys are playing really good basketball, especially at the center position. Um, I thought Malik had his best game scoring the ball. Um, you can obviously tell he's a little bit, still a little bit rusty. Uh, but at the end of the day, we came away with a win. And um, obviously, we survived. And, and now we get ready for Jacksonville. Questions? You talked on Saturday about not being able to do what you guys normally have done well this season and make those adjustments going into the second half. What do you feel like you guys did differently to be able to do that today? Well, I think it was a lot of yelling at um, halftime. And it wasn't. It didn't come from me. I'm not a yeller, so I was. I'm a calm. No, I, actually, no. We just talked about. You know, we started saying. Um, you know, I, I went back to telling everybody that. Listen, if if there are defensive breakdowns, you're gonna get held accountable for. And obviously, you're coming out of the game. You know, we have um, up until the last couple games, uh, we've been one of the best uh, three-point field goal percentage defensive teams in the country in the top. You know, 50 to 75, and. You know, last couple of games we've given up 23 pointers, and we've got to correct that. So we talked about it. Um, you know, at halftime uh, we made some adjustments. Uh, we decided to switch a few more sc um, screens, um, and obviously we made it tough for them. Coach, you mentioned the interior play. Uh, how much of, of that is there still room for growth? Can that sort of be your identity going into 2018? Yeah, absolutely. If you look at our team, and if you were to watch it, maybe obviously you guys have seen us live. But if you look at our team, um, you know, it's obvious that, you know, those guys have I, – I don't know the percentages, but I think Lenard is right around 70, high 70s, and and maybe uh, Omir is in the high 60s as far as field goal percentage. And, you know, we've got to recognize that and get them the ball. Those guys are scoring around the basket. How are you guys on the perimeter adjusting to life without Markel? And who's stepping up there and doing what they need to do? Well, I, you know, it's, it's not so much the perimeter. What's happening with us right now is that – we're playing guys who have never played together, uh, at, at least this year. Uh, I want you to think about it, you know, for, I would say, six, seven games, uh, TD has been uh, our four man. And now we've had to move him over to a small four position and put Malik in there. And our timing and our chemistry is not very good. You know, everybody bumps down a position, you know, kind of because, I mean, bumps up a position. TD has to be now the – the uh, three man Al goes to the two, and and obviously we got the two point guards, and now we got we're a little bit bigger inside. So it's going to take us a little time just to you know obviously to adjust to what's going on. So, you know how long Markel's going to be out? Are you expecting for the next game or anything? I don't, and you know, obviously I won't have any further comments on it. Saturday you elected not to play Lavar. Today he played some significant minutes, finishes with nine points. What did he do well tonight that? solidified your decision to give him as much time as he got today? Well, not tonight. He's had a couple of really good practices. I mean, really good practice. And, uh, you know, I, I, have, uh, I wanted him to get his confidence back. And so he's been the point guard on his scout team, and he's done a really good job. And, um, you know, every minute that he played tonight, he, he's earned, and, and hopefully he'll continue to get better. Was better about his practices since Saturday than before. I thought he ran the team, and I thought he valued the basketball. Uh, he did a good job. Uh, you know, he's the one guy that I, I know can pick up full court and turn a guy. And you know, he, he's playing now, obviously, with a lot of energy and passion. The way he he did at the beginning of the year, freshmen, as as you guys know, they go in peaks and valleys. And uh, you know, he started all playing very well. Then he, you know, kind of went into a slump and. You know, hopefully that doesn't happen to him again or Braxton. Coach, you got four guys in double figures, uh, two and nine, another with eight. How dangerous can you guys be when you get this kind of scoring balance um, offensively? Well, we, we, we could be a very good basketball team, but we have to be a little bit more stingy. 
Uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, we've got to obviously defend the three-point line like we did, did the first six or seven games of the year. And we got to do a better job of, like, you know, get, we gave up 15 offensive rebounds. And so we got to talk about that. That's, I think our half-court defense is, is not bad. But when you look at the fact that we're giving up, you know, transition baskets and we're giving up 15 offensive rebounds, that's something we have to clean up to be a good, very good basketball team. You guys have struggled from beyond the arc this year, uh, specifically shooting shooting just 14% tonight. Who are you looking for specifically on your team to pull that percentage up? Well, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, between Braxton and Sam and uh, Al Freeman, that obviously those guys will make some shots. And, you know, it, right, right now you're right. We're not shooting the ball well. And, and thank God that we can throw the ball inside to our post guys and get some baskets. Coach, the season's going to have its ebbs and flows. Do you feel like your kids are well adjusted enough that they can handle something like a UNCG and the struggle today and make that a growing opportunity? Absolutely. You know, we obviously losing the UNCG game, um, you know, you learn a lesson, but you would rather learn a lesson through a win. And obviously today we learned a lesson in the first half. We made some adjustments, and I thought we, you know, we came out and we played with passion. But, you know, you played a non-conference schedule obviously to get you ready for the conference play and, and we've had a you know really different unique schedule because we played all type of teams um you know into the even the best teams play in Arizona and so you, we've seen a little bit of everybody and a lot of similarities to some of the teams that we're going to play in conference Kevin is it, Al seems like he's a confident player is managing his confidence kind of part of the process going through offensively because it seems like sometimes you know, he, he attacks maybe when he should be, when a guy might have position down low. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? It's, uh, it's one of those things that, um, and yes, he is a confident player. You know, at, at times, um, you know, when you're an older guy and it happens to the seniors, um, and especially for a, 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 a kind of graduate guy, you press a little bit. Uh, and I think with him right now, he's just pressing a little bit more and, and obviously, um, you know, I would love for him to make the right play. It's going to come down to, um, you know, we had to do the same thing with Omir at the beginning of the year. I've got to sit down with him and, or one of the assistant coaches and show him his, his mistakes and where he can find people and then where he can score the basketball. You mentioned earlier that this was one of Abu's best performances of the year, and I, I totally agree. He had seven boards, 15 points, and he was a little rusty. How, how close would you say he is to getting back to that 100%? Well, I hope he's getting closer because, um, you know, he, he, he's starting to get his time back. You, you guys have seen him play in, in the last few years, and he's fumbling balls, and, you know, he's a step slow on everything, and, and a lot of that comes with playing, and that's why the last two games I wanted to get him some playing time so obviously he can get his rhythm back. But hopefully he's getting closer.